Hello there, fellow free tank enjoyers. Do you want to know how to get a free STRV-81 and if there is anything else good in the World of Tanks Blitz shop? Well, let's find that out now. But first, let's go through the shop. We start off with not of these because there are credits than these. We got boosters in here, 100 boosters each, 6k gold. This is not too bad, especially if you're trying to grind a new tech tree. This can be very useful. You can get all the XP, all the free XP, all the crew XP, and... You can even upgrade your crews to 100% so you don't have to play with 75% crews, which is terrible. But speaking of terrible, so this vehicle is kind of pointless and I really wouldn't recommend it to anybody. This is one of the lowest tiers of tier 10 collectors in terms of are they worth it. So wouldn't really recommend this vehicle at all. There are much better tanks like I said, the T95E6 or the Chieftain or even the Super Conqueror. They're all better and more worth it than this one. Same goes with the M60 really. It's the, the bottom bitch of tier 10 collectors because this thing it has no noticeable difference to the m48 pattern in most regards yeah it doesn't even make credits so this is one of the worst credit coefficient tanks in the entire game so buying it for that makes zero sense at all because it's not noticeably different from the m48 pattern and it doesn't really make credits either so not worth it then we have the mighty partners and even though the 122 tm is a very solid vehicle and can be worth it in some regards if you already have the chimera there's absolutely zero reason to ever pick up this vehicle and if you don't have the Chimera, then buying the Chimera makes more sense than getting this one. And the 114 is, well, firstly, it's a tier 9, so that's already not great for it. And second of all, it's just uninteresting and boring tier 9 that just aren't, isn't really going to give you much in terms of enjoyment. There are better vehicles, such as the Object 752, that should be bought instead. So I don't really recommend it, especially at this price. You're just wasting your money at this point. And, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, again... I don't know what Wargaming thought to themselves, putting the T-77 and KV-5 into the shop for 10k, and then each separate bundle later after that, making it just that much worse. Because what you're getting here is an IU-251. That is worse than the IU-251. That's what you're buying here. You're buying an IU-251 that is worse than the regular Tech Tree IU-251, and you're buying an APMX-30 that's fine. Expecting 8.5k for this vehicle, when the Chimera was sold at the same price is a uh, lunacy at best. Again, the meme bundle that it can be very useful for fun modes like gravity, which is the only thing that the 168 is good at, that is gravity mode. So there's that. If you really love playing gravity mode, the 168 in it is a great choice. The 75 TS is a very solid tier rate heavy tank that is going to grind you quite a bit of creds. This is one of the most purchasable bundles in the shop right now, I would say, especially if you're into gravity and you like the super heavy 168, which is a terrible vehicle, but it can be fun for gravity mode. Do you like Warhammer? Well, if your immediate answer isn't yes, 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 then there is no point in ever wasting money on this, because both of them are awful vehicles, just like the STG is an awful vehicle at not even a good price right here. I don't really know what's going on in the shop. But this is awful. And here is what the HWK and the AMX should be priced at. But instead with the AMX 1357. Which is a nice little fun meme vehicle. But it is a nice little fun meme vehicle. It does have no point in ever grinding credits. But it can be incredibly fun. So if that's what you're looking for. Then um, well that will set you back 5,000 gold for a vehicle that's worth about 3. That's not me saying it. That's Wargaming previously having sold many tier 7s at 3,000 gold. That's the reference here. This is not me saying that it's overpriced. This is me referencing old bundles and how much they used to cost. It's the same with this one here. Like 10,000 for a T77 and KB5 like a couple of months ago. And I know I keep going on about that one bundle. But just to put that into perspective of how bad of a value this actually is right here. So, I mean, even if it'd be 10,000, which would be equal price, it would still be a terrible bundle and terrible price. So, um... Again, reference is important. These bundles do not exist in isolation. And also this one won't exist when the video comes out. So I'll be back in 47 minutes to talk about what's new. These bundles never exist in isolation. They're always compared to what was there and what could possibly be there next. For example, like auctions. So it's always important to keep in mind what is going to happen next. Because otherwise... You're probably going to get ripped off pretty badly. So, in this case, we're not having anything in the shop that is really worth your money. There are unopened free containers, and that you should definitely open them, because 
60,000 credits. That's not too bad. And seven combat XP boosters. That is very useful. And I highly recommend opening these small containers. Actually, pause the video. Do it right now. Check if you have free containers that you can open. Then, speaking of the rest of containers, they're shit. You're a f disappointment. But now, after ripping into Wargaming's awful shop offers for about six minutes, it is time for some wonderful news for everybody. Because in June there is going to be a new event with the new season. And because World of Tanks Blitz is turning 10 years, there is going to be some very good things in here. Now, on June 1st, it starts, and you can get the STFA 81 with its legendary camo, but uh, who cares about that, from a subscription. Just enter the game every day. And then you can also have a chance at the K2. Take your chance to get the powerful Karo. Don't think Car powerful and Karo should be in the same sentence because the Karo is shit. I have it. I have it printed out. And obviously, don't forget that the Blastroid is also obtainable in the game. And it's a pink tog. You need it. Having a look at the statistics of the STRV-81, it is very similar to the regular Centurion Mark 1 and also the Centurion 5-1 in terms of its accuracy. And remember, 3% difference in accuracy, you're not really going to notice that in battle. Like most of these differences, you're not really going to notice them. You're going to notice maybe the rate of fire because obviously it has 200 uh, alpha damage here and this one has 190. So you're going to notice that 2% penetration difference you're never going to notice that. So talking about stats like that, it's just a waste of time, essentially. And uh, yeah, 225 versus 226, like that is not going to matter fundamentally at any point. Like the power weight ratio, 19.1, 19.7, you not really any differences here. I mean, the aim time is significantly different to be worth talking about. So that's a very nice thing there. 10, 10 more alpha damage. Ooh, that's great. But the only significant difference of the STV-81 really is that the uh, traverse speed is 10 degrees better than the regular Centurion, just like it is on the Centurion 5.1, and the front turret armor on the vehicle is a lot thicker. So that is the only really significant differences. The rest are minor improvements, which are lovely, and obviously the DPM is a little bit lower, so yet have a Centurion 1 that traverses faster. Now, remember, comparing these down here is useless, so forget that. Now, while you would have to be mental to purchase this vehicle in the shop for 180 euros from crates, having it for free is absolutely amazing. Why is that? Well, it has good third armor, so you can play it hull down quite well. It has awful alpha damage, which is not great, but it has very good penetration, which means if you're free to play, you can just fire stand rounds and you can make credits. You don't have to spend a lot. You will be perfectly fine. Even without a premium account, you could be somewhat fine there. But ideally, you would always try to play an event, get the premium account from the event, and then grind your crez there to be most efficient. Right, but um, yeah, he's gone up now. Obviously, the action next, they're, they're going to die. And then we have uh, the STG, who's absolutely awful. I mean, he's not 34 felony convictions awful, but he is pretty awful. So now I'm just going to push up here. I mean, there's Object 704 somewhere in the back, but he didn't shoot me. He could have shot me, but I would have been fine with that. And now this guy is going to die. He didn't even shoot me. So... Yeah, that's a pretty free win, I'd say, even even despite the STG. And there's a Type 61 that's camping in the back. Ain't that friggin' lovely. He's now gonna get wrecked by the object. I'm gonna try to retrack him. There's another great feature of a low alpha damage vehicle that you can keep enemies tracked easily. Um, obviously, you have to fire a lot more shots, which is not great, not helpful in other cases. But that's what you have to be very careful of. You can keep enemies tracked, um, especially if they uh, have bad crews or they, they don't have uh, full uh, equipment can very easily keep them tracked. Now, this is a very tall boy. A very tall vehicle. That's one thing to watch out for. Um, you can't hide it that easily. But once you can hide it, the turret armor is pretty good. You can go hold down quite well with this vehicle. And this is an absolute stomping. And Yeah, put it in your calendar. It is a great vehicle to get for free. And if you want more free vehicles, then don't forget to like and subscribe because I think I can do tank giveaways in June. So let's, let's talk about that. Watch the channel in June there might be some tank giveaways going on now it is great the wargaming is doing this for the community you know to get the free giveaways and stuff like that that's a very lovely thing not a lot of game developers are really doing that i mean not a lot of game developers are also ripping people off in the shop but hey it's fair and that essentially puts it neutral which is fine four four zeros on the enemy team that is awesome source. Anyway, with that said, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one.